That is a good question. Hmm. Made me look beautiful. best advice for business owners. For me, it all comes down to your underlying motivations as to why you're starting that business. Because I'm going to say one thing, no matter how clever you are, business is incredibly difficult. And we've seen over the last couple of years how things can change overnight that you never foresaw. So for me, the most important advice I'd give you if you're starting a business or running one is make sure that regardless of remuneration, you absolutely love what you're doing. You love the problem you're trying to solve in the world because when that that day comes where things are so difficult that most people would give up. Your belief and joy and your intrinsic motivation to do it just for the sake of doing it will be the reason you're able to grace that hurdle. So when I'm thinking about starting a new business and I've started about 10 different companies over the last 10 years, the first thing I always do is I make a 10 page deck, usually on Google Slides where you can get a quick template. You don't have to have a designer or a big team behind you. The reason why it's so important to put it down on paper in a deck is because the bird's eye view allows you to spot blind spots and connect dots that you wouldn't have seen with the idea floating around in your head. And the reason I make it 10 pages is because constraint forces you to crystallize the most important things about your concept. If you don't have much money and you're thinking about starting a business, what you need to do is try and find a way to proof the hypothesis that you have, the problem you're trying to solve in the world, the product that you think can be a revolution. So if you're a t-shirt company, you need to get a t-shirt made, put your design on one t-shirt, and then try and sell that one t-shirt to the market. When you get to the point that you have evidence that your business hypothesis is viable and that there is proof, you can then pursue raising investment, getting a loan, or other means. The answer to this question has to be people skills, and more specifically, the skill of sales. And when people think about sales, they think about trying to get someone else to buy a product. That's not fundamentally what sales is. Sales can be inspiring people to come and work for you. It can be inspiring investors or suppliers or manufacturers to partner with you. Ooh, what's the best marketing strategy? Great question. For me, there is no marketing strategy that is more cost effective than word of mouth. And word of mouth takes many forms. The digital version of word of mouth is something like Google reviews. I've seen your reviews, Damien. 4.8 stars on Google. Come on. Amazing. We use the crowd to inform our decisions and Google reviews are exactly that. There's nothing more effective than that. In order to get new people that do not know you to join your community, you have to simply give value to strangers. So what would that look like for you? You might create a YouTube series sat in this chair where you interview people and ask them for advice. You might then upload that to YouTube. If you upload a hundred of those videos and they are valuable for strangers, you're going to build a community of tens of thousands of people that are here for that. Then when you have those hundred videos, once in a while, you can extract some of that value back by talking talking more about your barbershop and what you do here and the great things that are going on here. You can look at failure like A-B testing a hypothesis and every time you A-B test that hypothesis you get valuable feedback about what's correct and what's right and what's wrong. And that can then be informative in guiding how you make your decisions, whether that's in business, on the training ground as a sports star or in your personal life. Nice shot. Appreciate you, thanks. I'll see you next time, right? Take care.